and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be looking into how you can use Excel to manage your bills in a very simple and easy way. So what we've got here is an example of some bills and the amount that they come to as well as also our income and then we're going to work out what we've got remaining once we take away our total bills from our income. So what I'm going to do first is sum the amount of bills that we've got. Oops, sorry there. So if we do some drag down here. So we can see here that for January our bills have come to a 980 pounds. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take away that total amount of bills from the income. So if I do that minus that. So we can see here that we've got a remaining £1,020 for the month of January. So you can see here how easy it can be to use Excel to essentially manage your bills. Um, and if you've then got an additional bill that pops out through throughout the month, so if we then have Netflix, for example, we can then add £10 here. We can see that it's automatically updated to take into account that new, that new bill that has arrived um, for us during the month. Um, so yeah, there's several uh, changes that you can do to this um, to keep it up to date, to make sure you're aware of your finances. And then what we can do is then simply just copy and paste this into the next month potentially. Um, and then yeah, again, we can make some further changes. So we can add, um, what can we add as a bill? fuel for example for our car add 50 pounds for that and again we can see straight away that's taken into account in the amount that we have remaining for the month and also the total amount that we spent on the bills for the month so yeah this is a very good easy way to manage your bills and um, see what money you've got remaining that you can put into savings um, or whatever it might be so yeah i hope you found this useful thank you for watching and if you like this video please like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.